Today on Tracy's Basement, Anime Pops. Welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, it's Pop Haul again, and this time it is all anime pops. I've got 12 of them for you today. I'm working through the backlog, <laughs> slowly but surely. So I've got 12 pops from different anime shows, and let's just get right into it. The first two I'm going to show you are from a show that I watched quite a while ago. Haven't seen it in many, many years, but I loved it when I watched it. I have some of the manga as well. I'm going to show you Ichigo and Rukia from Bleach. If you guys haven't seen Bleach, I do recommend it. It's a bit of an older show now. Uh, it's from Shonen Jump. I really, really enjoyed it at the time that I watched it. The trouble is, it was one of those shows that ended up with like hundreds of episodes. <laughs> so I just kind of stopped at one point and never caught up again. Uh, that said, I did love the show when I was watching it, and I did love these two characters. These are the main characters, Ichigo and Rukia, and I just love them. They're so cool. Ichigo has the bright red hair and the really, really nasty looking knife slash sword. Uh, looks like a giant butcher knife, basically. They're both in black robes. Rukia has the cute little black hair, short style, and the more uh, slender, delicate sword. Very, very cool. They are both wearing cute little sandals there on the feet. Rukia has kind of a, um, I don't know what you would call that. There's just kind of a piece of material hanging from her sword floating in the background there. Ichigo has the red around his chest. Basically, the idea of this show was Rukia was a soul reaper slash death god, and Ichigo is a student who obtains the powers of a death god. And so they work together, and it was a very, very entertaining show. I really enjoyed it. Just like I say, way too many episodes. <laughs> so I ended up reading some of the manga instead. Uh, and yeah, it's a great story. If you're interested in checking out some anime that you've never seen before, I highly recommend it. The next two are from another show that I loved, but had way too many episodes. Just kept going and going and going but I did love it, so I decided to pick these two up. It is Naruto and Sasuke. These two pops are actually from the Shippuden. Uh, you can tell me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but the Shippuden uh, episodes of Naruto, which I never actually got to, like I say, so many episodes, so I never got to those episodes. Uh, but they are the episodes where the characters are more grown up. Um, they are the only versions of- these are- the pops are the only versions of these characters that were made, so I decided to pick them up anyway. I would have liked to have the, uh, the younger versions from the original episodes that I actually watched, but these are pretty sweet anyway. Naruto basically looks the same as he would anyway, uh, with the bright spiky, uh, yellow hair. He's got his leaf symbol on the, uh, bandana. He's wearing his orange and black outfit, a little holster around his leg there, very cool, and he's got the little whisker kind of things that are always on his face. Sasuke actually looks very different from the original episodes. Uh, he has kind of a different hairstyle. He is not wearing his bandana because of things that occur. Um, he's wearing kind of a traditional Japanese outfit in the blue uh, with the purple rope around his stomach there. He's got a sword on his back and the little symbol there. Very nice. Uh, I do like both of these pops. Just like I say, Naruto is very similar, but Sasuke is very different from the episodes that I personally watched. But these are the only versions of the characters that are available as pops, so I decided to pick them up anyway, and they are super cute. To go along with the two Naruto pops, I also have an oversized pop. It is the number 73 Karama. He is pretty cool. <laughs> this is Karama, the nine-tailed fox demon that is actually inhabiting Naruto's body. If you've never seen Naruto, that is not a spoiler. It's right from the beginning of the show. And he is just really cool. I love the mold of him, and he's got all the tails, of course. 
big, huge, long ears, red eyes, kind of a snarl, and he's got all the little claws and everything. Uh, not a huge amount of detail to him, he's very uh, flat color and all that kind of thing, so there's not a whole lot that they probably could have done with him. But he is awesome, I love the mold, and I love the tails. Super cool, obviously going to look excellent sitting next to Naruto. The next anime I'm looking at is Attack on Titan, and we're gonna start with Eren Yeager and his Titan form. So I had actually previously gotten this black and white version of Eren Yeager, I believe it was in a pop in a box, and at the time I had never watched the show, I'd heard of it but never watched it. A bunch of you guys told me and Jason to go watch it, and we did, and we loved it, and then I hated you guys because the, <laughs> the show didn't end. I assumed that the episodes that were available were the entire show, but then I found out they had actually stopped and been on hiatus for like two years. So I kind of hated you guys <laughs> because I want to see how the story ends, but still, thank you for uh, convincing us to go watch it because I fell in love with the show. And because of that, I decided to go get some more pops. We have the regular version of Aaron Yeager, all in color, of course. And he has a lot of detail. He has the symbol on his little half cape there. He has lots of belts and buckles. And he has the crazy gear that allows them to uh, fly all over the place and attack titans. He's got two blades, one in either hand. Just lots of cute little details. I really fell in love with this character. I fell in love with the show in general, but I fell in love with the character. He is great. Awesome pop. And they also have the Titan version of him. Spoiler alert, but you can probably figure it out pretty quick in the show. <laughs> this is Eren's Titan form with all the muscles and uh, just, he's grody looking. He's got the long hair. He's got the big, huge mouth of teeth that is way too big. Big eyebrows kind of glaring down. Uh, really just, oh, the Titans are so creepy and gross, <laughs> don't you guys think? I really like this pop, but my only problem with it is it's a Titan, so it should be oversized. And theoretically, I understand why they didn't make it oversized, because the Colossal Titan pop is oversized, and the Colossal Titan is significantly, significantly bigger than Eren's uh, Titan form, but still it just seems wrong to have these two pops sitting next to each other the same size when the Titan is enormous, you know what I mean? Uh, so that kind of bugs me, I kind of understand why they did it, but it also kind of bugs me. Uh, just, yeah, throw them out there. Awesome pops though. <laughs> to go with the two versions of Eren, we have Mikasa, who is such a wicked character on that show. Mikasa is probably my favorite character on the show. She's got a bit of a different outfit, lots of buckles and scarves and all that kind of thing. Cute little uh, brown leather jacket. She has these special operations symbols where Eren has the uh, Survey Corps. And she also has her uh, three-dimensional maneuvering too many names added onto one piece of gear <laughs> gear there, and the two blades as well. So she's kind of in the same pose as Eren, but they are very different in uh, the clothing and everything, and the hair and the body style, of course. Really, really like this pop because she is definitely my favorite character. She was just so cool and uh, hardcore, and she kicked ass. She's like the master of the omnidirectional, three-dimensional, whatever the heck you want to call it gear. <laughs> she is super cool. Uh, if you guys haven't seen Attack on Titan, some of you guys are the ones that suggested it to me. I'm suggesting it to anybody who hasn't seen it already. Awesome, awesome show. Great characters. Very, very interesting. And last but not least for Attack on Titan, we have an HMV exclusive black and white Colossal Titan. So as I said, the Colossal Titan is an oversized, which kind of makes sense as to why this one is not oversized, because the Colossal Titan is way, way, way bigger than the rest of the Titans. Um, so theoretically, if they had been thinking, he should have been like a 9-inch pop, and he should have been a 6-inch pop. But that's just getting a little bit ridiculous and picky. <laughs> The Colossal Titan is super gross because he is all muscle. You can see all the little strings of muscle everywhere, the abs and everything. 
uh, totally gross and he's got that big long gross line of teeth. Super disgusting in a cute popish way. <laughs> and if you guys are interested, that is the original one all in red and flesh color. Uh, I got this one in Pop in a Box just recently and they're both pretty awesome, I have to admit. I'm not really entirely sure why um, they chose to make black and white versions of Eren and the Colossal Titan. Uh, at no point in the show that I can remember did it go into black and white for any reason, so just, uh, just one of those things, I guess. Somebody decided, hey, these characters are gonna look cool in black and white, and so they made them. Not too bad. <laughs> So there you go, now I've got two Colossal Titans. The last three I have are Hot Topic exclusives, and I'll admit right off the bat that the first two I'm going to show you I know little to nothing about. We kind of ordered them because they looked cool, and uh, when you put in a Hot Topic order to Canada, you've got to make it count. So <laughs> I was ordering a different set of exclusives. We ordered these ones as well. They look really cool. Because I've got them now, I definitely have to look into the characters because they look amazing. Let me show you. The first one you guys can uh, let me know if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but I believe it is Kirito from Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online has actually been recommended to me by a few people, so I'm definitely gonna have to check it out. And the character looks awesome. He's got like this long trench coat with belts all over the place. He's got the two uh, sword sheaths crossed in the back there, and he is holding two wicked looking ice blue swords. I don't know if they're supposed to be like ice or like lasers or what they are, but they are super, super cool looking. One's kind of got a black handle and one's kind of got like a light blue handle. It just looks really cool and like I say, several people have recommended Sword Art Online to me, so I'm totally gonna have to check it out now because this character looks awesome. And the next one, again, I don't know much about this character, but it is really, really cool looking. It is the Hatsune Miku Crystal and she's all like an actual blue sparkly crystal. How cool is that? <laughs> I double and triple checked the box and she does not come with a stand to help her stand up. So she is totally gonna flop over on me. Uh, but she is so cool. Like her whole body and her hair, everything are all in that clear blue crystal full of sparkles. And all of her outfit, her uh, headset and everything is like a dark blue. She's got a little tattoo or something on her arm that says zero one. Very cute. She appears to be some kind of singer. <laughs> you guys can let me know. I have no knowledge at all about this character. It's just such a cool looking pop. Very nice. Uh, I have heard from people who have this pop that they've had trouble with her uh, pigtails falling out and I can see where they're coming from because this one at least is very loose. They're very uh, thin and kind of like barely hanging on on her head there so hopefully I won't have any trouble with it popping out because that would suck uh, but yeah she is super adorable <laughs> I definitely have to find out more about the character uh, why is she all crystal blue if you guys know let me know because it's a cool exclusive but I have no idea why she is all in crystal blue like that Pretty, pretty awesome though. And last but not least, we have one that you guys knew I was going to pick up at some point in time. It is the Hot Topic exclusive version of Sailor Moon. You guys know I had previously picked up all the other Sailor Moon pops. Totally in love with them. Love every single one of them. But I wanted this Hot Topic exclusive because as you can see, she is holding the Moon Wand, which is totally awesome. Uh, she is very uh, overwhelmingly the same as the original Sailor Moon, but she is in the different pose so that she can be holding the moon wand out like that. Totally awesome. I love it. And to make it even better, the other Sailor Moon comes with a little Luna. This one also comes with a little Luna who has the bandages on her forehead. <laughs> Too cute. Awesome idea. Uh, I love it. I love all the Sailor Moon pops. And I desperately wanted this one as well because of the Moon Wand uh, exclusive. Too great, and I just, I adore the little Luna with the bandages on her head. That is so awesome. Gonna look great with the rest of the Sailor Moon Pops. Okay, so that was my anime pop haul today. 12 pops for you guys, two of them oversized. What did you think? What was your favorite? Have you seen any of these animes? What can you tell me about these two characters? I wanna know, so let me know in the comment section below. 
If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement. Links in the description box below. And of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye! And this is the part where you guys can give me some love if you liked the video and you want to watch some more. Here are some of the more recent ones. And if you enjoy the channel, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe right below. Please keep coming back for more videos. Bye!